Jerome Powell and his Jackson Hole speech crashed the markets on Friday, and the after effects were felt yesterday, with 11 of 13 sectors trading down and energy being the biggest bright spot. And speaking of energy, I've got a low risk, high profit energy play today, and the first part of the strategy should net about 98% when annualized over 11 days. How can it be low risk and have that type of profit? Stick around and I'll show you, and the best part is you can do this with very little cash. But before we get into that, let's cover the highlights from Jerome Powell and Jackson Hole. Here are the key takeaways. Number one, interest rates are going higher than the market thinks to 4% or higher. Additionally, the Fed is set to accelerate the reduction of its balance sheet starting September 1st, and they may do more. And number two, interest rates will stay higher for longer than the market thinks. Restoring price stability will take years. So that's not great news, and the markets are sitting at a pretty big pivot point, and nobody knows which way they are going. But when I look at the charts like the S&P 500, we're red on red, which gives me reason for concern. And if you pause the video and study the S&P 500 chart, you'll see nothing good happens when we are red on red. But a bull market is like sunshine. It's always there somewhere in the market. And check out this chart for the stock I'm loading up on that we'll be covering today. There's always a bull market somewhere and I'm already up 15% on this one and looking to make a lot more. But before we jump into today's hot stock, please subscribe, share, and help this video get over 500 likes while we take a look at a few of our winning trades from yesterday. Normally I go through a lot of the winners one by one, but today's list is massive with profits going all the way up to 100% and some of these are one day profits. We are in a terrible volatile market, but volatility is your friend when you are on the right side of the trade and not greedy. While most YouTubers are screaming about the market crashing and just bullshitting about the markets in general, we're making money and it's important to post winners and show these trades so people can see what is possible. If we are doing it, so can you. And let's address a YouTube comment I recently received. Each and every trade shown here are profits. That means you have 100% success. Why are there no reds? Well, nobody has 100% success. And in our Discord, we have a losing trades channel to show losses, which are just part of investing. The purpose of the channel is to let investors know losses are normal and encourage small losses instead of taking large losses. So like all investors, we have winners and losers. And the goal is to win more than lose and to have bigger gains than losses. The reason we are so successful in my discord is because we know how to play the market and stocks regardless of whether stocks go up or down. If you want all of our trading alerts and help from our awesome community, then join us in discord. All right, now's the time to sit back, grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. The stock we're covering today is BP Prudhoe Bay, and they are an oil royalty trust which currently has a 32% dividend yield that is paid quarterly. Oil, gas, and coil royalty trusts pay monthly or quarterly dividends based on the prices paid for their already discovered natural resources. As a royalty company, they have very few expenses, and with the energy crisis, these guys have been crushing it. Let's look at BPT on the charts for some technical analysis. And my regulars, you guys know that I love it whenever we are green on green on the indicators and look Look what just happened. If we go all the way over to the far right, we can see our momentum is up and we just picked up a buy signal on my lower buy sell indicator, which is a real plus. And we've got another indicator I'm playing with. Check this out. A long entry on the top, green on green, huge movement. Anytime we're red on red, that's a great time not to be in the stock. And now if we fast forward all the way to the right, yesterday we picked up another buy signal on the bottom. We're green on our momentum and a long entry. So now is a great time to consider getting into this stock. And if we go over our TOS bar, let's just look at how they perform this year. In the last week, they're up a whopping 18%. In one month, they're up 4.8%. Over three months, they're a little bit down. So we, so we can see they had a nice dip, they formed a bottom, and now they're starting to come right back up. Over six months, they're up 47%, and one year, that's just an insane number, 492%. We can also see they've got a nice dividend yield, net income margin, it's crazy high, but that's because this is a royalty stock. And then we've got our risk management bar. And if you're looking to buy, and you had a $25,000 account, and you didn't want to risk more than 5%, you'd want to buy $1,250, and this works out all of the math for you. And it says, will I risk $212 and buy 67 shares for $1,246. It gives us a target price, a risk to reward ratio, and a profit per share minimum goal of $4.75. And if you want to grab my indicators, there's a link down below. So that's our quick look at technical analysis on BPT. 
Now let's go over how we are playing BPT. The simplest strategy is to just buy the stock and I already own the stock and I'm up over 15% on that position. But the strategy I'm covering today is the first step of the wheel strategy. The wheel is an options trading strategy which consists of selling options on stocks that you were bullish on in order to generate monthly income. The first step of the wheel strategy is to sell puts that we hope will expire worthless. If the puts should expire in the money, then we have to buy the stock at the agreed upon price. And the last step is once we own the stock, we sell a profitable call to get rid of the stock for another profit. All three steps can be profitable and then we repeat the process. There are multiple variations of the wheel strategy and for me, the most important part is to only do the wheel strategy on stocks that you are bullish on and that you want to own. So if you are not bullish on the energy sector, then you should probably look for another stock. And if you have not watched my video, The Secret to Making Big Money with Stock Options, stop what you are doing right now and watch that video so you understand how and why choosing the right option makes you 48% more in the example I used. Did you know the average return on the wheel strategy is somewhere around 28%, but on the BPT play, the way I'm doing it, we'll make an annualized return of 98.5% on the put we sell if it is not exercised. Before I give you the first step, let's look at my wheel model and the results if we complete one turn on the wheel, which will give us an annualized ROI of 162.4% over 52 days. Our start date is going to be August 30th. Our proposed close date is going to be October 21st. The stock's adjusted basis will be $1,595. Our days held will be 52. The total profit, $405. The ROI will be 25.4% and our ROI over 52 days, if annualized, 100 and 62.4%. The first step is to write a cash secured put and for this we'll need to have $1,750 in cash available if the put is exercised and we end up buying the stock. Next, based on the BPT option prices at the close of business yesterday, we want to sell the September 16th $17.50 put for $0.85. Cents. Once we sell the put, we collect $85 per contract and if BPT is above $17.50 on September 16th, we keep the $85 as profit and repeat step one. If BPT is lower than $17.50 per share on September 16th, then we will have to buy the stock at $17.50 per share for a total price of $1,750 and then we'll move on to the next step which will be writing a covered call. The most successful option strategies are to sell out of the money put and call options. These options when done right have a high probability of profit and about a 40% annual return. But I really encourage you to watch this video because it will help you understand why I think we can do so much better. The math doesn't lie and on the trade alert I sent out yesterday for Coca-Cola, we're already up over 15% in one day using the exact same strategy I'm showing you today. And the biggest difference is that put expires on Friday so we'll be able to complete the wheel faster. You guys know I like to keep it short so that's it for today. As always, if you enjoyed the video and I know you did because you're still here, then please give me some YouTube love with a subscribe, like, and share. I really appreciate that and it helps out my channel more than you know. And if you'd like all of my trade alerts, indicators, free stocks, and free crypto, check out the links down below. As you can see, I put a lot of work on my option plays and getting the alerts to know what I'm buying and selling makes life much easier. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.